Living Power with Dan Hurd. Challenges of your commitment in your life. And there are three basic things that we're drawing from this passage. And the first one is avoid the traps. Avoid the traps that come across uh, your path as you're seeking to do God's will. Now, what do I mean by that? Look at Nehemiah chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. Now when Sanballat and Tobiah and Geshem the Arab and the rest of our enemies heard that I had built the wall and that there was no breach left in it, although up to that time I had not set up the doors and the gates, Sanballat and Geshem sent to me saying, Come and let's meet together at Hakafirim in the plain of Ono, where Yoko lived. But they intended to do me harm. And I sent messengers to them saying, I'm doing a great work and I cannot come down. Why should the work stop while I leave it and come down to you? And they sent to me four times in this way, and I answered them in the same manner. Now, in this passage, we see something very interesting about what happens when you're, when you're focused on doing God's will. There are going to be those who come against you. It's interesting that Nehemiah names, he names Sanballat, and he names Tobiah, and he names uh, uh, Geshem, who is the Arab. These represent, as we've already studied, and you can get the CD and, and take a look at it, but these represent different types of things that come against us in our life, the different things that are opposed to us in our life. And sometimes they're, for, they're motivated for different reasons. Sometimes people just want to take advantage of us. Some, sometimes people have a political agenda. Sometimes people are just simply wanting to lord it over us. They want to be the boss. You know, there are different things that happen and different reasons and different ways that people come against us. When you are where God wants you, you are going to be challenged. And some of those challenges come from people, and some of them just come from incidents, things that happen in, in your life. Challenges to stop you, challenges to misdirect you, challenges to interfere with what God is up to in your life. You may be there right now. Some things happening in your life where you just feel like you something's happening and you don't know how to explain it and there's all of these things coming against you and you don't know how to solve these issues and these problems. What do you do? Nehemiah and uh, the people's enemies learned of the success in rebuilding uh, the wall around the temple around Jerusalem and they immediately tried to thwart that success. And the first thing that they did was they invited Nehemiah to meet with them in the village of Hakathirim. Now, the curious thing about this is the name of the village. Hakathirim comes from a word which means to make reconciliation. So they invite Nehemiah to come to this village to make reconciliation. It was, it was by design. It was, it was intentional. They, there was no mistake. Again, they didn't just pick this name out of, out of, out of thin air. They intended to, to show that they wanted to make good. The village was about 30 miles uh, northeast of Jerusalem. I want to show you on the map. Uh, there's a little town called Lydda. Uh, here's Jerusalem right here. There's Bethlehem. There's Jerusalem. And as you go over to the, uh, to the west, did I say northeast? It's actually west. Oh, there's Lydda right there. There's Joppa. There's Lydda. Well, the little town of Hakafirim is right in here. It's about 30 miles from Jerusalem, which is about a day's, a good day's journey from Jerusalem. Now, the first thing that they did was that, that let's go to this this town and let's and, and let's. Uh, they suggested that they were ready to make peace and work things out. But what they were doing was creating a distraction, and Nehemiah saw right through it. Now, they made the offer four times. One would presume that this took place over a week, maybe over a month. I don't know. But the key to pick up on this is that there are traps that are designed to get you out of doing God's will. And they're not always obvious. Sometimes they're cloaked in what would seem like a good idea, a good thing. But God didn't call Nehemiah to go and make peace with the leaders of the land. This is so important to understand. God didn't call Nehemiah to go and make peace and reconciliation with the leaders of the land, even though that would have seemed like a good thing to do on the outside. That's not what Nehemiah was there for. That's not what he was called there to do. He was there to get the wall built. That's what his job was. Sometimes uh, those good ideas and plans are not intentionally harmful or they, 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 they don't look harmful, but in fact, the people that suggest them may not have the best intentions. Sometimes those good ideas and plans are motivated by evil. Sometimes they're motivated by good intentions. 
good ideas. People just, people just come up with a new idea or a fresh idea or something that they want to do differently. And so there are these good ideas, these, these plans that you have to be very, very careful about to understand that this could be distracting me from what it is and where it is that God wants me to be right now in my life.